Hey guys, Daniel Master 87 here. And as you can see by the title, the newest chapter, The Hour of the Witch, is out. And it comes with, as you can see, a new survivor, Michaela Reed. Um, and a bunch of other new changes. And uh, some of the biggest new changes of that is the perks that this new survivor brings. Boon totems are now a thing. So, it's basically like a survivor's hex totem that they can put on a dull totem and the killer can stomp the totem and put the the boon out, but the survivors can just relight it because when the killer stomps the totem it doesn't destroy it for some reason, uh, which is pushing a lot of killers away from the game. Um, her first perk is called Boon of Healing, <laughs> Boon Circle of Healing, um, and all of these Boon perks have a 24 meter tear radius, I think they used to be 32 and it was ridiculously overpowered, um, so when you're in this radius as a survivor then it has like a blue aura around the side of your screen and it's very intrusive as of right now like you're probably not going to be able to see the red stain or something because it's so intense on your screen but what circle of healing does is within that 24 meter radius um, survivors gain a 100 percent healing speed bonus so you heal much faster and you can also heal yourself without needing a med kit so it's like giving self-care to everyone who's in this radius and the the healing percent had to be toned down before this was released because survivors were literally able to pick themselves up quicker than the killer could down them which was nuts and uh, another thing about these boons is that if you have multiple boon perks equipped then putting your boon down combines all of those boon perk effects onto that one totem which is pretty overpowered coming from someone who plays killer the next perk shadow step at first I thought this was going to be a weak perk but maybe not because what it does is within the boon's range any survivors in the range will have their scratch marks and auras hidden. I remember the scratch marks but not the auras, that's good to know. And this effect lingers for four seconds after leaving the boon totem's range. Wow. So you can basically run this instead of lucky break. Like instead of iron will lucky break you could run iron will shadow step and the killer will just lose you after he hits you. Um, although it doesn't hide your blood, so I guess they could still follow that. Well, that's the two boons. And then clairvoyance, I don't know why they made this perk. Nobody's going to use it. Because you have to cleanse a totem to have it stored up or whatever. Which is the complete opposite of what you want to be doing, because you have boons, so you want to keep the totems up. And while you're empty handed, I don't know why that's a requirement, you, have, you can hold the ability button, which I forget if it's X or L1 on this controller, uh, for aura reading, and for up to 10 seconds you can aura read, exit gate switches, generators, hooks, chests, hatch, within 64 meters. The range is significant, but some of those abilities are just not because it's easy to find generators. I don't know why you would need to see hook auras. Yeah. And there's a few changes that have happened to different killers. A bunch of them got add-on passes. Deathslinger and Wraith actually had stuff changed to their base kit for whatever reason. And Immediately after this chapter came out, they released a Halloween exclusive tome of challenges and stuff that you can do. I'll show you. It's called
called the Midnight Grove. So on top of, what is this tome called? Instead of it just being tome 9 being out right now, you also have this tome to complete. So I've still got a few challenges to complete and then I'll be not done with it. I'll be ready for when the next section of it comes out, which releases in one more day. And that obviously means there's a new rift now, which has all this good stuff in it. And I know this is level 1 spine chill, it's fine, because the 36 meter range does not change with the level, it's just the, the action speed bonus of when it's lit up. So we're gonna get into a match and see how all of these perks work out, hopefully. I should note that I couldn't have played until, or I wouldn't have recorded until after today's update that came out. When I first launched it was crap because you'd have infinite loading screens as both solo survivor and as killer. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, there is a death slinger in this match. At least I think that's what it was. No, it's a doctor. Are you screwing up this gen or something? Why is this gen bouncing like this? She might have been messing up with, um... Technician. There's gonna be pumpkins scattered around the maps now, and you can kick them, and they'll either be neutral and not really do anything for you. Or there'll be a trick pumpkin which will give you hindered for a few seconds, or a treat pumpkin which will give you a speed boost. And these guys really want to lose. This girl was probably AFK. Wasn't recovering at all. Yeah, I'm out. She wasn't even recovered. She's AFK. I could have flashlight saved there, but what's the point? Let's find a totem. So we can at least do that before we die. <laughs> Ooh, pumpkin. That was a neutral one. He's just going back and forth between hooks. There's his hex. Oh, he's just gonna tunnel this guy down. Yeah, I'm running away. Don't you worry about it. How the heck did that land? Could you get the guy off the hook, please? <laughs> Let's bless the totem. I need you to keep the pressure up, whoever's there. Wow. Yeah, I'm still here, get me. Oh, now he instantly picks the guy up. Hindered. She's hiding in the locker. She let the other guy die on hook. Move. 
No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Move, move, move! Dude, how can you do that? I should have raised my freaking MMR before starting this video. This is pathetic. People are probably still having problems. They've disabled the DC penalty because of that. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of this, I guess. Stop getting in lockers. She's in tier three and she's not even attempting to snap out of it. Wow, just stand there. 4% Hindered again Surely there's a totem around here somewhere Why did it seem like he came straight to me? Like he had barbecue, even though he was static blasting to like find where I was. Oh wow, he knew there was a doorway there. Hit me around the corner. Kind of, what was this guy doing? Spies from the shadows and Noah, that's how you know he's a new, and he's bringing these add-ons against a team that didn't even do anything. That's when you should be ready for high level teams when you've got this build. And I knew this girl had technician because she kept screwing up on the gym. And it was doing silent explosions. You may have noticed we have offerings up called the Cursed Seed. And those are basically like the the blight flower petals or whatever from that one event a while back. I wish they would have just brought those back instead of these because I had a lot of them on my characters that I still haven't used. But it basically does the same thing as before. It creates a special gin which we're working on right here and a special hook. After we do this gen, I'll try to put my boon totem down. It's Wraith. Why would you play Wraith? Let's see if there's a totem here. Just a pumpkin. Still no speed ups.
totem here. Let's do it. Can someone please get that guy? Okay, now we leave no scratch marks. The killer can't see our aura and we can heal ourselves and we heal much faster. He's still on that guy. I tried to light burn him. Oh, you can see the totem Zora. Please don't DC or something. But yeah, you see how intrusive this stuff is on your screen. He's probably not leaving that area. That guy's probably just gonna have to die on hook. I can't risk that the wraith is still there and he's just gonna get a hook trade when I have no borrowed. They got him off. Yeah, hook trade. Oh, why do you have to go down there? This could be over right here. Wow. You better be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can block. Move, 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 move. What the heck? Lag. Now's their chance. They took it. If we do that gen though, it's huge because then we can push to the other side where my boon is. So not only is this guy playing Wraith, he was using hexes because I heard that explosion in the beginning. So pretty much doing everything wrong that you can do, including camping. And it's clear that survivors nowadays just get everything done in minutes. I hope he decides to heal in my boot my boon totem's uh, radius. He probably might not even know it's there. Let's go finish this gym. Hey!
He doesn't get it. Of course. How do they do that every time? It's nuts. No, you won't make it in time. Just go for the other guy. Now he's playing it right. Cloaking between hitting people. Because before he was just staying uncloaked all the time. We needed Fing to chase him everywhere except for that gen and she brought him there. I don't know why I can't light burn him though, it's crazy. You're not gonna make it. I'm gonna have to guess. Oh, and of course he's not picking up. He's healing in my radius though, that's good. Hopefully he finishes in time. He needs to come get me. Start running. Straight towards me. I've got one or two skill checks left. Now, now, now. Excellent. Enduring, maybe. I don't know why he didn't get blinded there. What the heck? How do you catch up so quick? Does he have brutal strength too? If I'm in this radius, does that count for me recovering on the ground faster? I don't think it does. Come get me. No, keep going. Oh, I can uh, self-care myself. <laughs> wow. Now he knows I don't have DS anymore because I healed myself. But you saw the boon totem, right? Can't believe that first guy got downed in the basement. That was the whole reason why this Wraith is even still in this game. I bet he has Noah too, because he wouldn't leave the hook. We even got the OP two pallets thing next to each other. Oh, well, there's no point in being cocky now. You've pretty much thrown this game. See, how is he getting stunned by all these? It's like he's a completely different player. Wow, this thing's all the way down too. Unbreakable. If you got it, use it. He's chasing this guy. Uh. 
Did this pallet straight up not spawn there or something? Because I don't see the broken things on the ground. I guess it's because there was a pallet that spawned there. And so the game's like, oh crap, we have two pallets close to each other, let's not make it three pallets. They could still do this. They've just got to play like crazy. You maybe should have dropped that. When he comes back around, he can. If he can make it back around. She can hear him. You're ready to dead hard. Oh yeah. They uh, added dead hard rollback too now. So instead of you just getting rollback at pallets, you're gonna get rollback at dead hards too. He can hear you, you know. <laughs> you're injured. She has unbreakable too. Is she gonna use it now? No, she needs help. Well, that was crap. I just want to see the skill those parts before I go. Toxic Wraith because you got lucky and won. Because Wraiths really aren't supposed to get wins this easy. People say he's overpowered, he's really not. Even before the nerf. So many counters. We were just out positioned a bunch in that match. Okay, well that explains that. Enduring and brutal strength, but why would you? When there's so many more appealing options. And then two uncloaking speed add-ons. Well, the last two matches have been train wrecks. Let's see if we can get anything out of this one. I hope those don't create sound bubbles for the killer to see. They might, but I don't think they do. He's got Hex Retribution and Hex Undying. And he's leveled up already, this Myers. So we're gonna attempt to use Clairvoyance here. And you might notice I've got the thing on the med kit, but I'll talk about that in a second. Clairvoyance. A gin up there, a gin in the middle. I don't know why you have to have something out of your hand to use it. I guess it's because R2 is to heal yourself with a med kit. Yeah, that's probably why. Right, can you run him away from here? My god, what is this guy doing? He's got three hexes. When boons are out. Someone was in basement for some reason. Pumpkin destroyed. I thought it said pumpkin closed.
No, there's no way we can get them out. This girl's teabagging. Uh, there's nothing I can do. They'll have to deliverance themselves off or something. We could have had a game, but these guys decided to throw hard. I'm not coming to save y'all, y'all better start trying to 4%. There is no hexes. Here's something. I can see my aura. I don't know why he had no terror radius. Holy crap, that was fast. He's gotta have stalking raid add-ons. Why is he silent? I guess he wanted a quick game. Yeah, as you see on my med kit, it's got the thing they brought back for it speeds you up when you use it. Like an insta hit. And they also brought back the, the add-on for killers, the blight serum that you like press your power button and it gives you a boost after you hit someone. So yeah, James Sunderland, which is now uh, a skin in the game for Cheryl, I know. It's uh, the first one that changes the gender of the survivor it's attached to. And I'll definitely be getting this eventually, but I'm gonna need a special sale to come up or something because it's like 1400 something oryx cells and that's a rip off if you ask me that's like 20 bucks worth of oryx cells that i need to buy in order to get it i can't believe this guy got away with this crap though four hexes when boons are out and two of us had boons they just three so the guys just decided, hey, let's not only give Myers tons of stock, so he gets into tier 3 super fast, but let's also get Slug next to each other so we can hook all of us in basement. But he has a, a brown stock increase add-on. Increases the duration of you within 3 by 20 seconds. And increases the amount of required evil to reach evil within three for the first time it still doesn't make any sense how he was able to stalk me for like five seconds and get it back so quick distortion what are you guys doing man So now let's check some of the killer changes. Most uh, changes for killer, they just got add-on passes and stuff like that. Like uh, the play got a new joke add-on that is actually probably the first decent one they've made. 100% more deviousness blood points. Uh, Vile Purge no longer affects survivors, but it also increases object infection time by 40 seconds and increases infection from infected objects by 100%, so 
you will not beat top teams with this, but you could beat mediocre teams. And here's that add-on I talked to y'all about, the Blight Serum. Yeah, Plague, um, Trapper, Pig, there's a ton of killers that got add-on passes and stuff. One of the most talked about ones is, um, this one. Survivors begin the trial with reverse bear traps on their heads. And the thing we didn't think about is that since there's four traps on their head, you have no more left in your inventory when you start the match. So there's four on their heads, but none when you start out. So it's it's not giving you eight traps or anything, which was kind of disappointing to realize. I almost want to say they nerfed this other pink add-on too. Don't know why. But it's like... Before it was like within a 12 meter radius while you're crouched you see survivor auras and it decreased your bear traps by 2. Now it's decreasing the bear traps by 3 per 4 meters. It's a joke. Yeah, they've made a ton of useless add-ons straight up go away. Like, uh, this thing used to increase the chances that they'd get a skill check at the jigsaw box. And now it's actually changed to something that could be useful. This thing used to be something that would increase uh, their skill check odds also. Now it will give them a deep wound if they fail a skill check, which can actually be significant. They did nothing to her base uh, dash attack. I don't know why. It's like the most obvious change you could make. But, um, they're like, oh no, it's fine because we put these add-ons that you have to run to make your dash attack decent. But every time they make a semi-strong add-on like this, they like have to put a downside nowadays. Because it's like, you increase the charge speed by 50%, but if you miss... Oh no, that that buffs both the things. Never mind. I was talking about this one. Increases ambush attack movement speed by only 6%, but increases the charge time by 66%. I don't know what they're doing on some of these. It's like hit or miss with a lot of these add-on passes. Trapper's is kind of the most interesting. He can carry two traps at base now. Oh wow, I haven't even looked at these. But there's a bunch of useful ones now. And the gates are rusted jaws and serrated jaws. Yeah, that makes sense because they don't get injured, right? I'm glad they included that part. Yeah, new brown, the trapper cannot be caught in his bear traps, but a bear trap will be disarmed if the trapper steps on them. Because sometimes people will dead hard through your trap and you have to step on it just to get to them or pick it up. Now you can just walk over it and you'll be fine. Setting a bear trap is silent. There's a ton of useful ones they gave him. Uh, there was one I had a problem with. All bear traps are carried at the beginning of the trial instead of spawning on the map. So instead of having to run around and pick all them up, you uh, start with all of them in your hand. Which some people argued should have been a base thing. The downside to this add-on though is huge. Bear traps cannot be picked up. Why? Just why? So once you put down a bear trap at a loop or something, it's like, okay, it's there forever. And people are like, oh, but this will be OP with the iridescent stone add-on. No, the iridescent stone add-on is... <laughs> I don't know the, the combo they're trying to come across. This freaking downside is stupid. 
You can't pick your traps up? Are you kidding? But at least now you're able to pick two add-ons for your traps instead of having to um, bring a bag add-on as one of them every single time. Because now you carry two at base. And... Oh yeah, ghost face changes were disappointing too. They like nerfed his best add-ons like Jude Pin and Address Book. And I think they made his base slightly better. Like his cooldown on his uh, recovery. So they made his default recovery better but nerfed these so can't buff killers without nerfing them, can you? Surprisingly, not much of Pinhead's... No, Pinhead was untouched with this, and I think Blight's was untouched too. Uh, but the real disappointing part, and... The underlying stuff that I think people are ignoring with this patch... That... Makes it seem like a completely survivor side anti-killer patch is the changes to Deathslinger and Wraith. <laughs> Deathslinger can no longer quickscope. You have to go through a short animation that uh, just ruins his quickscoping ability. And also whenever you come out of scoping in then it'll have a cooldown before you can basic attack. <laughs> So the dumb survivors will still get options selected at windows because they're dumb and the actual competitive survivors who actually knew how to counterplay this killer very easily before now have even more counterplay. Isn't that great? The only positive they gave Deathslinger is because you don't get stunned for as long when the chain breaks and you hit the survivor. And I think his max range might be increased from like 18 meters to 20 or something like that. But you don't get reward for long shots anyway, so what's the point? Wow, the, the green add-on. Is that the best reeling speed thing? My god, it is. So the best reeling speed add-on uh, only brings them in 9% faster. It's good to know um, that they've changed all the stuff on the perks from moderately and considerably, tremendously, to stuff that you can actually quantify instead of having to guess or search up the numbers instead of just having them right here, which is super useful. So the best reload add-on only reduces the reload time by 0.5 seconds. Yeah. I'm gonna get into a match and play as Deathslinger and show you how they've pretty much ruined him. Uh, and then we'll do the same with Wraith. Thank god we got into a match. I thought it was gonna be infinite loading screen. Because I did test a few matches before this just to make sure it wasn't still a thing. Wow, so I get hindered as the killer. Amazing. I saw you. Two of them. Oh, that feels so bad. My muscle memory with this character is screwed. See, look, he almost got hit there because he was... He should have got hit there. Oh, dead hard to save your life. Wow. That response is atrocious. 
Why does he not leave this tile? What the heck? Freaking lucky. That's the hit I would have gotten, like... Oh, wow. Should have gotten that hit a long time ago. Is all I'm saying. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't see you. I... So bad. Oh god. My muscle memory. I need to remember I can't quick scope anymore. But again, I put on Save the Vest for Last and Rancor, the most aggressive obsession you've ever seen, suddenly appears. Where is he? Can I hear this guy? I couldn't see him, so I didn't know he was going here. I could have cut him off with a shot. What the heck? Did he drop? I can't hear him. This is who I'm losing to. Before I was able to get down so quick with Deathslinger, I was using Dying Light on him. Now it's not even a possibility that I can use that perk. He moved so fast it threw me off. Excellent. What the heck did that get caught on? Yeah, dead hard anyway. Someone. It's Bill. Wow. Here's the person we haven't seen once so far. Wasted pallet. That's the best reeling speed add-on, are you freaking kidding me? And this isn't anything to do with the patch, it's just in general. There's there's uh, nothing I can drag him off here, so... Don't know why I took that shot. Them getting this middle gen so early was freaking stupid, though. I wasn't getting sound cues from this building at all. Run out of the building, run into the building. Ah! 
So we're on eight stacks of save the vest for last, and that's about it. That's the obsession, isn't it? Yep. Get away from here, please. Good. Now only injured people can come to him. Break it on this. Come on. Yeah, that was a quick recovery. I thought I saw someone over here. It was probably the fire. Where is he? I need to find him, he's Rancor. He magically disappeared. You hear him one moment, he's gone in the next. Gate already open. Dude, he was right freaking there. <laughs> The sounds are as bad as ever, as you can see. Oh, I need to switch to a killer challenge. God, survivors these days are just a mix of, like, people who don't know what they're doing and escape anyway because gins and people who just use crutch perks. And then Killer has nothing, no matter what he brings. Because they keep getting nerfed and they can't have anything strong. The other completely undeserved base kit change to a Killer is with Wraith. I played a ton of Deathslinger before his nerf and it felt pretty good to play as him. Not so much anymore. And, uh, with Wraith, all seeing blood is surprisingly intact. They just changed it from 8 meter radius to, or uh, 12 meter radius to 8 meters. So for the most part, this add-on is still decent. But what I don't like is that they made a change to Wraith's base kit where people were complaining, Oh my gosh, his lunge is so overpowered when he comes out of cloak. It's so fast and long um, which was the entire point because that's the only thing that makes him catch up from the massive slowdown he gets from uncloaking uh, they took that away from him his lunge is like what 15% shorter now so He's terrible, because I, I wasn't impressed playing as him before, and I was using these add-ons, which people complain about, so they must be his best, right? Uh, and I wasn't impressed with his results. I was still getting like one or two kills a freaking match. So we're going to see how much worse he is now and how unviable he is. So midwitch, right? Good map for Wraith, they say. Let's see. He was hiding in the corner. You can feel it. So short. I need to find someone else. Oh wow.
I'm surprised we got that. I couldn't even get a hit on freaking Sunderland. She's gonna camp it, so... Wow. You were so lucky I decided not to swing. Dude, look at this. <laughs> you can't even reach around the whole loop. Roll back. Even though I was all the way through that pallet. Let's get a make your choice going and then we can start the momentum. the Sybil. Where'd she go? Can barely hear them. I have to uncloak to stomp this. I can't find where the rescuer went. This is so unfair. What the heck was that? You just went through my swing. And he gets the reaction. No scratch marks cause shadow step. Wow. That was the person I wanted earlier. Now we get the James. Finally makes a mistake. The game's based around survivors making mistakes, not you being able to win because you played well or something like that. I'm going for the injured person. It's worth it. Can't even reach her. Oh my god. No, oh, I'm bam bamboozled it. Are you freaking serious? Blocking me because you can just do that. And they relit the boom. Wraith is so OP. And he's like barely able to compete right now. <laughs> wow, she got up in time. This is a freaking travesty.
I don't know where they are. Probably on this gen. Where the heck are they? I'm waiting for you to make your choice. Come on. They put another boon down. Okay, good. I'm right here, you realize. She still had BT. I feel like if you start getting healed, you should just lose BT. Okay, cool, I grabbed and then it took it away. Oh, does he do some kind of exploit right here where I can't pick him up? No. And that's his first freaking hook. When I've insta downed him twice already. Silent gen completion. One of those new bugs they haven't fixed because it benefits the survivors massively. Sprint burst. I need a uh, make your choice to go off. Then I can move in. Was I not close enough or something? I heard no scream. What the heck was that? I didn't cancel on cloaking. Why well, didn't make your choice go off? It was lit up. We've got to tunnel this guy out. And then dead hard to rectify your mistake. Go for the freaking gins. It felt like it barely connected. Pushing multiple gins. Now they're blocking for each other. They're healing faster than I can injure them. She panicked. She could have light burned me there, but she didn't. So I'm losing the people who could definitely be playing better. This freaking boon, I swear. This is the third time I've kicked it. This is how effective boons are supposed to be. When you don't get matched up with teams who just throw themselves at the killer. Yeah. Wraith's Lunge used to be able to beat out a sprint burst, now it can't. And every single person is healed. And if they have that 99, he gets away for free. <laughs> Body blocking it. Stunned. Destroy this. It's not letting me. Yeah, you've got uncleansable totem spots for the boon totems too. I can't believe they didn't think of that. Like what? Killer's hitboxes are bigger than survivors? She gets out. I somehow got past her, but... Oh, come on! She was in front of me on a freaking swung. Move. 
Oh, somehow you all got in front of me. Wraith OP, he needs another nerf. Clown Fiesta. Wraith was too much for the survivors to handle with that extra 15% on his lunge. He was S tier. It's just funny. So that was the new content and the new changes. I should also mention that on top of that, James Sunderland skin uh, and that other stuff, they've also got these freaking outfits on sale and they're 75% off, but only with Oryx cells. So that does nothing for me because I've got to spend like 20 bucks yeah. still. Laughing. But I was excited for. Oh, what the heck. Anyway, I was excited because, uh, what do you mean there's no customization items? It's not in the shop yet, but there is going to be a blighted nemesis skin, and those are always my most anticipated skins, even though I guess I can't buy them except for the ones I've already got, because I guess the ones I've purchased before were with the event exclusive currency but they do have the blighted pyramid head at live and it looks pretty good even though people say they could have done more I think it's fine these spikes or whatever really add to his helmet or whatever and they jacked up some of these survivor pictures. Look at David. And the the shading is like really weird on some of them. I also got this skin for Steve, the Jonathan skin. Cause I'm like, oh, it's gonna be leaving the shop forever and it's the only thing I even slightly care about. So I'm just gonna get you. it. Laughing. Hi. Hi. So besides that and the different add-on passes, which I don't think are going to shake up the meta or anything at all. That's pretty much it How's for it this. Going? It's going great. But besides the the crossovers or the new characters or whatever themselves, I'm not really getting any excitement out of like new stuff coming to this game because I don't think anything's going to change. The survivors are just so much more powerful than the killers on average. And killer is my preferred that's role good. so I it's not really fun. On PS5. Well that's good. Hopefully you're not Dealing with frame rate and crap like some people allegedly still are. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other killers they got add on passes I'm not covering. Spirit for sure. We could actually do a match with her. Basically what they did to Spirit is the survivors have all the information on her and she has nothing on them. Because they made it to where she kicks up dust while she's phasing and there's no standstill mind game or in terror, in terror radius mind games anymore because you can hear her phasing no matter what. And it's also directional so if she's getting close to you then it'll be shh getting louder. And people say, oh, but with 
Where is it? You. Laughing. Hi. How's it going? That's good. I have this game on PS5. Nap brains are better on PS5. I'm glad they nerfed Spirit. I don't think she was this unbeatable killer people made her out to be. But people were like, oh, she's still OP, she's still fine. But you have to run these two add ons, and she's stronger than before or whatever. Yes, but why should a killer have to be dependent on running pink and purple add ons to compete? Should it not be fair for them, too? She was an unbeatable killer for a while. I disagree completely. But I guess I might try her with the strongest add ons just to test it out. They got rid of pretty much all of her Yamaoka's haunting speed add-ons except for this one which gives her an additional 40% even though you can't see scratch marks anymore. And then That's the cherry fine, blossom. They shouldn't have buffed Plague either. Uh, Plague was fine before, she's fine now. But, Spirit um, is a blue waffle anyway. Wow. But people are saying this is OP because survivors killer trigger the killer instinct whenever they come within four meters of the spirit while she's fading. So it's basically bringing a collision back to spirit and she can instantly come out and attack. And scratch marks are also no longer visible while using this. But uh, I'm gonna get into a match and see how this actually performs. Blood Lodge, very bad memories on this map. Before and after the remaster. I saw movement towards Killer Shack. Now I'm 115% for the next 15 seconds. Man Spirit has a bad hair day. Wow, she actually fell for that. Block the window. She still gets this pallet. to 360. I didn't hear the the cherry blossom thing so far. We'll just have to keep chasing. Where did they go? I will admit with the pink add-on she is very fast, like blight level speed. Okay. You. Skipping some comments. So you're a killer main. Why have that stupid voice thing on anyway? If I ever scream again, I'd never have the voice thing on besides what if some trolls came in and started saying some overboard things and all. I'm just saying. Man spirit has a bad hair day. 360-ing doesn't work anymore. This voice know. thing sure is messing up. Yeah, it's repeating stuff it said already. 360-ing does still work because aim dressing is still a thing. You'll swing at them and it'll be like, ugh. <laughs> Why would you run towards me? Not when too many killers know how to counter it. 
Well, if you're on PC, it's easier. On console, the joystick does not give you as much movement freedom as with a mouse. That hard, yeah. See, she she turned so fast there. She was almost off my screen by the end of my swing. Well, PC players are just assholes. I don't know what that means. Oh, that was her. Leave her for later. She's the right core. I have core. A PC master race mindset. But what does that have to do with getting 360'd? That probably could have been a grab. See, she messed with my sounds. That's counterplay. She had that hard too. They have dead hard rollback now. I don't know if I mentioned yet. So now you get pallet, stun rollback, and freaking dead hard rollback. This girl's crazy. It's like the only one who knows how to play against Spirit on this team. Oh, dead hard to save the day again. Can't play with a match without it. Skipping some comments. This oh, here we go again. Is messing up. Not when too many killers know how to counter it. Well, PC players are just assholes. They have the PC master race mindset. I'm not talking about 360 in LMI. I'm just saying PC players are assholes and they think console players are plebs. Oh, it's game over. I didn't even realize we had all four right now. Oh, well, there's your S tier killer. Because only one person out of four knew how to actually counterplay her. Instead of just holding forward and running in a straight line where she can track you. I keep forgetting to change the challenge. I only play survival anyway. Well, that explains a lot. You have to play both sides to really understand each side. Because when you're playing as killer, you're like, oh, I hate survivors going around the TL this way. So a survivor, you remember that from you playing killer, and you're like, this is the right way to go around a TL. And vice versa, situations like that. And it's also a mindset thing, like, you don't play one side. It's not necessarily that 
you just don't care for them like oh yeah screw killers or screw survivors on every single patch just endless nerfs to them and endless buffs to me it's not that it's literally like you don't see what killers need or what survivors need in uh, in terms of balancing because there are a few things I don't like killers having as survivors and they do you skipping some comments oh why is it doing I'm this not again talking about 360ing now am I I'm just saying PC players are assholes and they think console players are plebs I only play survivor anyway since it's slightly easier than killer I don't have to play both sides killer mains are just complete pricks killer mains should feel lucky that devs cater to them whenever they cry okay dude well I think that's gonna end the stream this is Daniel Master 87 signing out <laughs>